California is the golden state and in 1849 thousands of miners rushed to the Sierra foothills to strike it rich. Well today gold mining is practically a dying industry. ABC 10's John Bartell shows us why he found one of the last underground mining companies in the state. They found gold at Sutter's Mill. Gold put California on the map. In 1849, thousands of people flocked to the Sierra foothills to mine gold. California is the golden state, but these days, many commercial mining operations are closing down. Except for one company. It is the oldest American gold mining company. Welcome to the original 16 to 1 mine, located in the little town of Allegheny in Sierra County. Since 1911, the mine produced over a million ounces of gold. That's about 1% of the gold in Fort Knox. One of the richest concentrations of gold in the world. Mike Miller is the president of the mine. He says most of California's gold originated from a 200 mile quartz vein that spans from Plumas County to Mariposa County. And the 16 to 1 mine has only explored a few miles of it. You're telling me billion dollars worth of gold is below us, but you guys are the only ones digging for it? That's what I'm telling you, John. To understand why the 16 to 1 mine is one of the only mining companies out here, you have to go inside the mine. It's like a wild roller coaster ride in here. But first, you have to get down to the gold. And when I say down, I mean 1,300 feet down. Definitely a different kind of commute to work than I take. For some strange geological reason, gold particles get trapped in quartz rock formations called veins. And it's just like a Easter egg hunt. The Northern California quartz vein is called the load, and there's two ways to get the gold out of it. You can either wait for water to naturally wash it out, or you can dig for it. All right, so right now we are at the 1300 level. This is pretty much the center of the quartz vein. And next, we're gonna go to an area where they've pulled out a million dollars worth of gold in one shift. In the early 1990s, miners at the 16 to 1 mine started using metal detectors to locate the gold. And the idea saved the mine from closing. It's like big boulders to solve the gold. I mean, it was, so that part right there keeps me still doing what I'm doing. Reed Miller is Mike's son, and today he's working with Dan Gnomes, and the two miners are trying to remove 11 feet of rock from an old dig site. You're working in a very cramped space every day. Yeah, because you guys think you blast it, so you guys move that rock so you can get back in there and drill another round, so you're constantly, you know, it's like a worm going in a hole and constantly, you know, getting that dirt out, yeah. The task seems never ending, and it is. Only 20% of the rock in the 16 to 1 mine has been explored. In fact, most of the gold veins in the foothills haven't been explored. What, why is no one else mining out here? Uh, there's, a, there's a reason. One of the main reasons is California regulation. This is the Surface Mine and Reclamation Act of 1975. It was created to protect the environment, but over the years, other government agencies have littered the mining industry with so many new rules that miners have a hard time mining. We all need to be regulated, but we need to be fairly regulated, and it hasn't been fair. Mike says more than a dozen different agencies monitor mining, but he does believe that there is light at the end of the tunnel for mining. If you're not an optimist, you better not be a gold miner. And yes, I think it's going to get better. California gold miners have been through 150 years of struggles. Mike hopes that regulators will take a closer look at those struggles so that California miners can live on. In Allegheny, John Bartell, ABC 10 News. You know, after all the, the wet winter, a lot of people are going out with the pans and trying mm, to, to mine. Trying we had like a mini gold bag. rush here, right? It's so interesting. John Bartell, another great story really great from John story. Bartell. He yeah. always finds, you feel like you learn something, you feel entertained. It's just good storytelling.